Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, July 14th, 2010. Today we're going to take our class extension example one step further, and instead of just writing the class extension and saving it to our own package, we're going to add testing to the mix. So what we're going to do is bring up the Parcel Manager and load the support for that. If you go to Popular, you'll find down here there's SUnit Tools. This will load not only SUnit, but SUnit Tools that integrate with the refactoring browser. So that loads. Okay, now with that loaded, what we'll do is we'll bring the browser into the view and we'll create a new package. And we'll call this Aerith Medic Extras. And we'll create a new class. And this class is going to be our test class. So we'll call it Aerith Medic Tests. And we'll subclass it from SUnit.TestCase, which is our test case class. And now what we'll do is we'll write a test. So I'll just select something, create test cubed and we'll do a self assert this is how you do this you assert that the following statement 3 times 3 times 3 equal 3 cubed so the idea is that we want to make sure that our cubed method lines up with 3 times 3 times 3 so we'll just proceed that and now that we've created a test case you notice that immediately the browser integrates and notices well you've got a test case let's run the tests and of course it fails because I haven't actually written the code yet but that's really the way you want to do this you want to write the test first and then you want to write the code so now we'll go to class new class extension down here and we'll pick Aerith medic value so I'll go down here and now in arithmetic value, I'll select mathematical functions. I'll take cubed and I'll write the same method I've been writing, which is answer self times self times self. Accept that. And now we'll go back to my tests, try running it again. And now it's green. So now you see that I've not only taken my code and written it into my own package, I've written a test, I've written the code for the test, and I've made sure that the test passes. So this is really the procedure that you want to follow, not only when you're writing extensions, but when you're writing any code. Write the tests, then write the code, and make sure that everything works out. And this is how you integrate that whole seamless thing into test-first development inside Syncom Smalltalk. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.